Wolverine! So, can we recreate Wolverine's claws? He's come out between his knuckles. We can't do that, it's gonna require surgery and I haven't got any space in my arms, I do believe, for any claws. So, we're gonna to need to have to make something which is gonna go on my arm so three blades can go down my arm and then come back again. And completely automatically, I don't wanna to have to be flicking them out, I don't wanna to have to be pushing them back in, I want it to do it all itself. So we need something for our blades to run up and down on. I've got these linear bearings and this uh, eight mil shaft. We'll put these together. We'll have like uh, two brackets each end, and then we'll attach the blades to the middle one, and then they can uh, they can run up and down on that. Lovely. Now when I made all the plates at the end, I kind of tack welded them all together and drilled them all at once. So all the holes across the whole thing will all line up perfectly. So if you try and do it individually, they'll all be a bit good. That's the basic jig. Now then, let's set this up so the bearings are on it. So we've got something to attach the blades to and then something so we can set up the firing system. slider we can attach our blades to and they can slide up and down. Lovely! So to get these blades to fly from one end to the other or to go from in to out so to speak if you used an air ram or anything like that then obviously you'd have to have another bit out here for the rest of the ram to go into so when it fired out it had somewhere to come back in again that's no good. If you were to have it inside it you could only actually do half the distance that's no good. Fall back doing the cables, electric motors, all these things seemed a little bit too complex and prone to not working. So, a bit like how a cork flies out the end of a wine bottle or a cap end shoots off a pipe, then we're going to use that sort of theory. If you can imagine two cap ends on here going down onto two bits of pipe, blast of air, pop, smash it straight at the end there, and then it will land onto another bit of two cap ends and pipes, which will also do it bom, 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 bom. That's the plan. The only tricky bit obviously is getting the air journals up to each one of them, but oh, I've sorted that out, don't worry about that. two bits of metal with slots in between, put them two bits together and then that transforms our one inlet into two outlets and then if we fix that onto our rails, let's put that on there like that, and I've welded two bits of pipe onto the centre bit which moves, which is going to have the blades attached to it, and then when that goes back it goes over the little lugs with o-rings on and then you give it a blast of air and it fires the whole thing straight down. Next job, when this thing sits on my arm at the moment, it's going to dig into my skin. So we need to put a flat plate on it and give it a bit of a base. Said you couldn't do it if you tried. Said you couldn't know that you lied. So there we are. Got our plate on the bottom so it can sit on here and run up and down without fouling anything. Now. Need to sort the uh, air nozzles out on the other end. So like the first end, I've got the little bits of lugs welded on, built the holes in at the back. But unlike the other end, I cannot put a slot in between the two to join them together, because the centre claw is going to have to come up the middle, and then the two outside claws are going to go either side. So they, you can't do anything across because it gets interrupted. So I'm going to drill two holes up from the, uh, the bottom to hit the middle of these, and then we'll put a bit of pipe underneath the base of the claw system, which will then feed into that to give us our firing system to retract the claws. So 
So now I've got a plate, got two holes in the end going up to the little airports in this bit. Now obviously we need to get a pipe or something to them. So what I've done is I've got another little bit of a plate, mill the middle out, we can sink them on there, there's another one goes on the top of it to close it off and there's a little inlet, we can put a bit of pipe in there and then there we go. That's our return system sorted. Just cutting the uh, slots in the end, then I, you know, for the old claws to pass through. There we are, fully functioning slider with the air system in it to fire it back and forth. Now we just need some claws. So got some claws and got the centre one and welded the little cappy pipe bits on. Now if we put that on the rail, screw it on there and then we need to get the other two and weld them on the outside and then that's it, that's it, it's ready to fire. Right, let's give it a test. Let's just make a thingy so I can put it on my hand. And then Tonight I'm wound up so tight. I feel I just might explode any minute. I'll take you and your trouble.